नंदा जी बोलना बहुत ही मुश्किल है इसलिए मैं बोलूंगा नहीं आई नॉट स्पीक एक्चुअली आई नॉट स्पीक वट एवर टर्म्स दैट विल बी योर्स एंड वट एवर रॉन्ग इज विथ मी ऑल द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन मल्टी कल्चरलिज्म as we experience in india and as we read in books of different perspectives there is a difference there is a difference in 2011 12 with national center for communal harmony government of india i had done a small project Which identity we don? हम कौन सा आइडेंटिटी को पहन लेते हैं कौन सा टाइम में आई गिव यू ए स्मॉल क्वीन माई सर नेम इज लोहो चौधरी कैन यू टेल मी विच आइडेंटिटीज ऑफ माइन आर देयर इट्स पार्ट ऑफ माई कल्चर कैन यू टेल मी आई टेल यू माई Ancestors were from Leh in Kashmir, and then we migrated to Trishal village in Uttarakhand. From there, the Parashars went to five different streams. One stream went to Bengal in a place called Lohu Jong. It's a it's a river port on River Padma, and so. to have these two places now there is an echo of shama charan dubey 1955 shama charan dubey wrote we indians have two identities one identity is village which gives the villagers despite having different identities a commonness for which they fight much of the fight today we show as communal or sectarian or castaged are actually the village identity based fights at the at the lowest level at the grassroots level but our media misconstrues it because our training in media and our training in sociology our training in political economy all almost have not tried to understand it from the reality of the country so what i found we took myself and one of my students we took uh, that identity tags of different people what we found there are at least 10 identity tags we don at different situations at different situations whether we are hindu parsi buddhist jain muslim christian anything when i go to europe for taking classes i am a hindu my muslim friend is also a hindu my tamilian friend is also a hindu i am a bengali i am also a hindu to them i am a hindu and it is very important for media to understand this nitty gritty but how it can because India's education has been in reductionist approach from the British period, and we really, knowing or unknowingly, we are accustomed to it. So when we start looking into people, we start looking from a divisive angle, reductionist approach, because it's not our fault. We have to change it. In the new education policy. the word that's why the word holistic is very important but the problem is in our the local the common framework of the education in every subject is failing to catch it most because our experts are mostly western oriented it's not west fault but it's the fault of west toxication west toxic is it's not my term this term is of a jnu professor professor gupta he told many years back and he was a communist 
So the point is, multiculturalism of India does not mean that we are divided. So we can make umpteen number of states, umpteen number of regions, umpteen number of autonomous councils. Rather than that, India's multiculturalism goes with India's ethics, which Amartya Sen talks about in Argumentative India, that how we agree to disagree, and at the same time, we have no, we have bitarko, pratarko, but we don't have any so-called mayhem in the name of we will not listen to anyone. We have to listen. And that is our culture. And that is the strength of India's multiculturalism. Multiple identity. As Professor Nanda has already told, Dr. Nanda has already told about what is culture I am not going. And I'm, I fully agree to him. I fully agree to him. The way he described. So, what is required in our media and communication studies? See, media, we need to redefine media. Professor Acharya talked very correctly that media is a system, social system. I wrote it in an international journal in 2011 that we have to redefine media. And media is now more than a technical entity, it is a social system. And when we do this definition, redefinition, and we apply it to the laws of different countries, information and media laws, then we can also include the so-called folk media, human media inside it. But what we have done actually, instead of that we have taken the property concept. The property concept of media, I call it property concept of media, you can say political economy, so and so forth. Because essentially that is a property concept. And if your property is disturbing me, so the government has to take an uh, umpiring position. Now this umpire can be influenced. Why I am telling all these things in this session? Because this multiculturalism, the plurality, and the media, these three are not separate actually. The media is part of culture. I am not only talking about popular culture, I am not talking about the culture of, say, being immersed in mobile phones for 20 hours in a day. No, I am not talking about that. I am talking about Media has been part of our culture, propagator of our culture, and continuator of our culture, and modifier of our culture for so long. From the days of only oral media, to the, and even before that, if you look into Bhimpetka, if you, and afterward, if you look into, Sari is here, Sari Vartran, Ajanta, Ilora, uh, ingredients, the uh, works and its cultural communication aspect, Professor Dhabulkar. So, if we look into all these aspects till today and the tomorrow of media, tomorrow media will always be going hand in hand with machine communication because media is ultimately the communications sweet made. It wants to present the communication in a better way, every time. And when with it comes the profit motive, then somewhere there is a disturbance. And this disturbance actually creates a fissure in the community. Because ultimately then man's standard is not there, money standard is there in the society. And we can easily make people divided for that. I was listening to the Jagannath culture. I really liked it. How to dissolve the barrier at the ideational level. 
Why Odisha is prospering more and more? Though I have crisscrossed its villages, I have seen villages are in the dominant paradigm, almost the same way uh, undeveloped. But culturally not that. In the dominant paradigm undeveloped, underdeveloped. But culturally not. Because I have crisscrossed villages of Odisha. The Jagannath culture is at the ideational level making people one so that they can, they can never be divided. By dividing, we cannot do any good. That's why the God was conceived first as one. And still today, we have to reach that one, whether we have different worshipping ways. So what we can call in Bharat's culture is Dharmic culture. There is a difference between dharma and religion. Dharma means being and becoming. It comes from the root. Os. Dhridhatu. Kartari man And being means ositto. Os. Means existence. And religion comes from religar. Which means which binds us as a community with a same way of working, same way of thinking, same way of rituals. Rishi Aurobindo worked on that very well. So I am not uh, working again on that. The point is, the point is, we need to understand differences between the words. We need to understand how our people, as common we can call them, but as they understood it. That was the beauty that every house of ours, from the so-called lowliest, to the highest had intellectuals, but their intellectualism was anchored in a feeling that ultimately we are all together. The opodigro, the concept of opodigro in our uh, culture. We are forgetting all this. We are forgetting all this. And so if we forget our media, we forget. Look into the new Education policy has given us a chance to reinvent our own media and cultural syllabus. But what we are doing? We rather are creating sort of a pandemonium that we, if we don't have infrastructure, what infrastructure you require? We require. If Tagore could do it under tree, most of the brilliant ideas of the world given by India were under three ideas. Look into Panini's grammar. Panini's grammar has taken algebraic notations for coding, which has later been taken by the computer language. Look into the Purvo Vimans of Joymini. We need to bring it in our syllabi. And we need to bring it in a holistic fashion, not in reductionist approach. Whenever we talk about that there should be value education, ethics education, we always talk, okay, there will be a paper. No, it's not a paper. It's a point of how we teach it, how we do it. But there are problems. Because most of the people working on this, they don't think in this line due to our training in other lines. And in that way we cannot solve, we will gradually divide ourselves. And this division is not only bad for us, this division would be bad for the entire country. Hope will not divide. So our multiculturalism is our strength. And our media must be looking into multiculturalism from a holistic aspect, not from reductionist approach. And see, that I am an activist means I have to be against this community or that one. No, not at all. It's very important we conceive at this juncture. Because then only this millennium would be our millennium. Our millennium means it would be of a relatively peaceful millennium for the world. But for that, we have to be the first change. Only then the entire thing can change. Thank you all.